You're still locked into your feel-good breakfast show. And now the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries recently released the official report on the National Plan of Action for the Conservation and Management of Sharks in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And in May 2020, following public concern about shark populations along the South African coast, the Minister of the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries, Ms. Barbara Creasy, appointed an expert panel to formally review South Africa's plan to save our scary but needed sea creatures. Needed indeed. Now, Dr. Jennifer Albers is here, a scientist at Wild Trust, an environmental organization here in South Africa. And she's joining us to tell us more about this and reporting on what is exactly going on and how we can save our sharks. Doc, how are you doing this morning? Hi, good morning, guys. And good morning to the, your viewers. What is the current plight of shark populations along our coast? Well, South Africa is a global hotspot for shark and ray diversity. We harbor about 188 species of shark, and that's about a third of the global shark and ray fauna. Um, we have 69 regional endemics, meaning that they only occur here in southern Africa. And in addition, many of our sharks are threatened. So they spend a significant portion of time in South African waters, uh, utilizing these essential habitats as nursery areas, as breeding grounds. And globally, more than 11,000 sharks are killed per hour. Wow. And in South Africa, we have 100 different sharks and rays which are impacted by our fisheries. So we certainly need to manage them properly. Mm. Such a horrible thing to hear. Those numbers are quite yeah. alarming. Now, I've got to ask you, what were the key takeaways from Ms. Minister Creasy's report? I mean, I know there was a lot of information there, but just for everyone at home as well watching, what, what did it exactly say? Well, um, first, it must be said that the, this national plan was to ensure that we align with international plans or the plan of action of um, conservation and management of sharks. So I think this is quite an important point that South Africa is not working um, in isolation mm. and working um, with international partners. But effectively, there were five key points from the review. The first one was to ensure effective communication and coordination from science to policy. This is an incredibly important step in the process in res resource management because you've got many entities working on a resource and um, whether it be law enforcement or in the science or the management or even in the tourism sector and the feedback and the time lag between observations and science and management um, needs to be rapid and it needs to be transparent and it needs to be with all the entities involved, which include government conservation agencies, NGOs, the fishing industry. So it's important that um, effective communication um, is, is brought into, into this, this document. Do you think, Doctor, that this is enough? What do you believe still needs to be done? Well, I think um, the MPOA is um, a very thorough and well thought out plan. It covers all aspects um, of what uh, needs to be done, certainly in the sh short term for sharks and rays. Um, the Department of Environment uh, forestry and fisheries have made great strides in increasing the protection of sharks and rays. And um, resource management is never complete, and there's always room for Im improvement. And once the goals of the 2020 MPOA um, have been achieved, then we reevaluate. But for now, it's important to focus on the tasks at hand. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree with that. Now, the Wild Trust has a project on sharks and rage, which is uh, working towards the objectives and goals of the NPOA, which you just mentioned now. But can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yes, well, first of all, the Wild Trust is a, a non-profit organization with um, two core programs. One, Wild Lens, which is, focuses on the terrestrial conservation and the green economy, whereas the Shark and Ray Protection Project um, falls into the Wild Oceans Program of the Wild Trust. This is a collaborative project which uh, is working towards the increased protection of sharks and rays in South Africa. The MPOA is a, a governmental plan, but the Wild Trust, through this project, is working with government to implement and achieve the, the goals to give support and training for law enforcement officers. Uh, we're uh, hoping to produce uh, field guides in collaboration with, with many of our partners. And then, of course, um, there is an advocacy and awareness um, campaign called the Shark Attack Campaign. And this is aimed at highlighting um, that our sharks are under attack. In general, the public perception, sharks are seen as negative they're seen as scary animals. We're trying to change that. We're hoping to inform the public and ocean users um, about the, the imperiled status of our sharks and uh, what recovery actions are required to highlight the benefits of non-consumptive resource use. 
um, for our sharks and rays. Oh, well, Dr. Alders, I can't thank you enough for firstly joining us in the studio, but also raising awareness and uh, I guess protecting these absolutely beautiful and majestic creatures of our ocean and using your expertise to do so. I know that uh, there's someone fighting the good fight for us and I can't thank you enough for that. No, thank you very much and thanks for your time. Ah, pleasure. It's just so wonderful to see the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries coming together with various experts, including the Wild Trust, and stepping up to save our sharks. They need all the help that we can give them.